Hi guys, it's Henry TMC, and today I'm going to be opening another Immortal Shard. This one is the Gladiator. So, I have this Immortal Shard at 50% boost. I really hope we can unlock this. I did unlock the last one, which was the Reindeer. So maybe I'm not going to unlock this one. I don't know. Um, but guys, I also have the Assassin Immortal Shard at 13% boost right now. Stay tuned and I'll be opening that in another video. 3, 2, 1. Hands on escape, as always. Come on. Come on, let's all want to unlock it. No! Yes, it unlocked it when I pressed escape! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh, that is brilliant. Yes! I wasn't going to unlock it, so I pressed escape and I unlocked it. 2400 challenge XP this time. Three immortal boosters and the gladiator bonus. 50k! Yes! Now, guys, we have the Gladiator, which means 13 Immortal Kits. That is pretty insane, to be honest. This is what you get in the kit. It's pretty good, to be fair. Um, yeah, the, the Gladiator is used. Strength 2 for a minute, Resistance 1, and then it does give you Hunger for a minute. So, depends what you want. If you want to live and kill someone, or you want to die of hunger. I don't know. <laughs> right, so it's got a good axe for fighting, and a good sword for fighting as well. Sharpness 5, which is good. Um, the Gladiator le Leggings, Protection 4, and Breaking 3, Evasion 5, Tank 3, with Angle Reflection 3. Um, I reckon you could make these into a god set, to be fair, because it, these are quite good with the set bonus which is um even the playing field once activated you have 10 seconds to combat tag a player and give them the same armor as you for a minute to so get the assassin shard and boost it with my immortal boost what was that three percent boost it's not 16 percent boost guys 19 the minimum we can get it to now guys is 20 and we literally get a one percent boost on this are you kidding me if we do 1% boost as well. Are you kidding me? Right, so now the assassin shard is on 20% boost. And as I said, I'll be saving this for another video. Let's collect the stuff here. Um, so yeah, it also comes with raw mutton, which I can um, smell in my super smelter, so it's not a problem for me. Um, and then 32 golden apples. Three enchanted golden apples, three potion of strength for three minutes, it's got potion of regeneration, regeneration two for 22 seconds, and then as I showed earlier, the gladiator juice, the armor, the sword, the axe, um, four stacks of ender pearls, basically one stack, like 64 ender pearls because they only stack in 16, which is a bit annoying. 16 bat bombs, uh, si 10 lingering dispels and 16 flash heals. Oh, I almost forgot about these. Three illusion spells which create illusion copies of you that run around. Copies will die when hit and last 15 seconds. So basically, I've actually never used one of these before, personally, myself. But I think that would be really cool, to be fair. Um, like, make copies of yourself just running around everywhere. That would be quite cool. Right, let's open these and see what we get. So, let's just dispel, iron block seed, challenge XP bottle, diamond block seed, soul stones. Okay, right, let's collect all of this stuff. So, where is the turkey? It's somewhere here. Yeah, turkey, right. Let's grab this. Let's go over here. And yeah, look, guys, because I thought the hard reset was going to happen on the server, I used all of my ore seeds to create this massive, massive ore seed farm. It seems like it just keeps going. Um, yeah, I'm going to destroy any of the ones that 
are already used and replace them with these horses. And boom. This is the crush is insane with this pickaxe because of the stone that comes back. I just find it amazing when I use it with this pickaxe. Because yeah, it just goes insane. Right, let's collect all of this stuff. So let's sell this and see how much money we got from just mining that tiny, tiny area. Right. That is the stuff that we got. How much is this worth? 104k. You see, guys? It's literally that easy to get money when you have an Aussie farm like that. The, and, and the prospect of pickaxe, of course. And the prospect of pickaxe. Also, I got this, um, a scroll, and it's basically like a riddle, um, and it's like a task, basically, and I'll read it to you. Where light exists, darkness remains, and resources thrive. So the only thing I could think of is the mining world, or the combat world. Either one of them is what I think. That's the only thing I can think of right now. If you guys know, then please leave a comment because that would help me out a lot. Um, because I really want to get try and get this done. And yeah, guys, let's actually see how well this iron golem farm is doing. It's doing pretty well, I think it is. Uh, how much iron has it produced? Yeah, that's alright. I haven't been AFK for that long, to be fair. Um, yeah, this is doing really well. Ooh, the creepers are coming in. Yup. The creepers are coming in handy. Yes! Creeper spawner! I always love it when I get a creeper spawner from um, from them dropping because that's like so rare and I just love it when that happens to be fair. Yeah, the iron golems aren't doing too well but to be honest, they're doing alright. I'm, I'm fine with it. This, by the way guys, this is my AFK spot so it does these spawners. Um, and it does the spawns in here, which are my, uh, like my creepers and endermans and stuff. Um, yeah, they do the ones in there. Um, so yeah, these farms are going pretty well at the moment. I, um, I've also planning maybe to bring a kit with a kit token over from TFI, uh, over here. Because I've got quite a few kits I don't already have, uh, on here, on TFI. So I might bring uh, them over with a kit token. Um, if I do, then I know which one I am going to do. Um, yeah, by the way, again, leave me a comment if you know what the answer to this is. Where light exists, darkness remains, and resources thrive. And that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy, then please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Bye! Bye, guys.